This is the whole thing put together. I showed you the cartoon of it broken apart. This is what we call the stack. Every once in a while to make sure everything works together, we put it all together and test it as a single unit, and that's the stack. If you look at the bottom, you can see pick little guys down there in, uh, in their bunny suits, as we call them, walking around. So it gives you an idea how big this is. So the next thing I'm going to show you is an animation. And, and this animation is actually beginning at the top of the atmosphere. And this is how we get the Curiosity rover unpacked and to the ground. This whole thing is called the six minutes of terror. Uh, I have yet to learn how to hold my breath for six minutes. Um, I'm working on it. I tried it on Phoenix when we did that in 2008. And I turned blue and it didn't work well. So uh, we're going to give it another try here. But this is an amazing sequence. I'm going to walk you through it. So we start at the top of the atmosphere at about 12,000 miles an hour. As it comes through about the atmosphere, the heat shield takes up uh, about 95% of the energy of getting to the ground. When we are around supersonic, a parachute comes out. This takes out about 4% of the remaining 5%. Heat shield comes off. The rover wheels come down. Wait for it. It comes out of the back shell. Okay. So the sky crane and the rover are attached to each other. So this is a rocket-powered helicopter now on the way to the ground. Horizontally, it's barely moving. Vertically, it's, it's a meter or so a second. And now it's going to roll the rover down on a set of cables from the sky crane. It's now going to slowly descend. It's going to touch down. When it recognizes touchdown, and the rover is the one to tell itself that it's on the ground, it'll cut the cables. Sky crane goes away and just crashes off in the distance. Don't need it anymore. Its job is done. Out of fuel, basically. Now we unpack the rover. So that sequence that you just saw in about 40 seconds is about uh, is six minutes long. So it's because the light time, the radio time between Mars and Earth is around seven minutes or eight minutes, this whole thing happens before we even see it start. So we don't know the end until it's all over. So I'm going to let this run for another minute or so. Um, you will see it drive off. It will. You can keep an eye on this. It's going to uh, actually show you how ChemCam is going to work, which is kind of fun. But this is the end of the presentations, and I'm going to open it up for questions. We got a couple. Of, got a, enough time for just a couple of questions. I think you were first. If I look at the, at the mass of the rover, what fraction of the rover mass, uh, what fraction is the rover mass of the entire package? The, um, the entry mass at the top of the atmosphere